Hi guys, this video will show you some tips of LL wide rep. We'll talk about the training mode first. When you complete all the tutorials, you will gain a magic ball for picking heroes. Different from LL PC version, players can choose all the champions on LL mobile training mode. So before you want to buy a champion, you can come to the training mode to practice it. The SWAP function will let you change the hero you are playing and the enemy you are against with. In this way, you can play all the champions in one practice fight. Let's talk about AoE damage. Actually, your melee character's normal attacks are AoE damage. Secondary targets will also share about 50% damage of primary targets. However, AoE damage cannot trigger on hit effect or crit. The tip here is that when you play jungle, you can address your attack position to cause more damage to several meters and increase your jungling speed. When you are chasing the enemy, do not flash into the opposite direct. Why? Because you will find no safe area here in mobile version. Next tip is that some heroes' packs and skills can be activated in mobile version. For example, Wayne Silverbolt needs Black Shield, Twisted Face Deck Deck. When you activate Wayne Silverbolt, you will gain 40% attack speed for the next 3 attacks within 5 seconds and heals for 60% of the damage that Silverbolt do. Then is Wii's Blast Shield. We begin a stack of Blast Shield when hitting an enemy with an attack or ability. Up to 5 stacks. After releasing W, we generate a shield that absorbs 60 damage for 3 seconds. Finally, it's Twisted Face Stack Deck. After activating the ability, you will gain 55% attack speed for 3 seconds. During this time, attacking enemy champions rolls loaded dice. Let me show you the effect of the fastest attack speed. Ok, next, Javelin. In order to make it easy for mobile players, the developers make the EQ combos into one key E with double clicks. In mobile version, Achilles E skill is not able to mark the last spot of your spoke keys. For those who like Achilles, this is a pity. Then we'll talk about tips on game settings. First, let's check out control panel, open setting, and find the custom button layout here. You can modify the control panel as you like. If your flash button is in the wrong key after the game starts, you can manually switch the positions through the setting. Next step is about portrait lock. Open setting and enable the portrait lock here. After that, you will see the enemy avatar for portrait lock. But still, your release gear could be blocked by other objects. Next part is about dash skills which can cause damage. For example, Gregor's E skill, Tranemir's E skill, and his Q skill. By default, those dash skills will target at the nearest enemy. But don't use it if you are escaping from your enemy. In this situation, we can open the setting and turn on the dash in move direction setting. After that, your skills will dash to the direction you are going. Another tip is that you have to get used to the movement control in Wild Rift, which is different from League of Legends. So you have to pay attention to those objects that might block you when navigating your champion. At last, let's talk about Yasuo. Actually, the model of Yasuo is quite the same on League of Legends and Wild Rift, but there are still two differences. The first one is that on Wild Rift, you need to use a mouse to choose the target to release Asku. For example, if you have already blown your enemy out but you are not navigating your mouse to the target, you won't be able to release your Asku. However, this is also the advantage to release Asku to the right enemy you want. The another one is that Yasuo's Q skill will separately cast to your mouse direction when using the EQ skill combos. Our tech guys will try to optimize this. So for now, you need to locate your mouse to Yasuo in order to release EQ skill combos. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you guys find the video helpful, make sure to smash the like button. Also hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for more upcoming video. In the end, hope you guys could have a great gaming experience by using LD Player.